In honor of Black History Month, we are highlighting the amazing people, organizations, Black-owned businesses in our area. Local artist and muralist Aramis O. Hamer's work can be seen all around Seattle, including Climate Pledge Arena. Yeah, and joining us in studio to share a little bit more about her murals and upcoming show, Aramis O. Hamer. Welcome. Awesome. Thank you all for having me. Of yeah, <laughs> thanks for coming in. You've had such an inter interesting career because I know you actually started as a nurse and then you became a self taught artist. Kind of tell us about your journey and how you got here. Well, that was a roller coaster ride yeah. and um, a scary one, you know, but I'm actually from Chicago. And so back in Chicago, I was working as a nurse. And so I moved out to Seattle. It's been about 10 years now, so a, a decade ago. And just wow. meeting so many local artists and so many just talented creators, I was like, okay, maybe maybe I can do this. But I just always created ever since I was a kid. Um, it really started me like painting portraits of family members, just like photos around the house. And, you know, and then I would just show my mom like, mom, look, this actually is pretty close. And so my mom, she really, she really supported me from the beginning. Wow. Now she's a nurse, so. That's kind of really what uh, inspired me to go into nursing, but yeah. And then I just I just kept on creating, and now it feels like here I am. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And you know, we really want to honor the fact that you are living so many people's dream, right? It's so mm -hmm. scary to go out there and show your art to the world. So. You get to do that. Describe your style for us. Mm. Thank you for acknowledging that. And I think that I need to tap into that daily. It's definitely a scary process. And so channeling courage is huge. It's, it's yes. really huge for me. But um, my process is very messy. My studio <laughs> is literally, it's paint everywhere all the time. I love painting large scale uh, paintings. And so that was really like my influence from painting murals out in the city. And so now bringing them to my studio, um, I usually start with the painting either hanging up on the wall or down on the floor, pouring paint. I love using colors, I'm super inspired by music, divine femininity, higher consciousness. Um, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, pretty much it starts it being a mess. Yeah, <laughs> a mess. And then we sort of build. We, sort of, we, we build from there. Well, you're killing it because you have murals all around Seattle. I mean, Paramount Theater, Cornish College of Arts, and Seattle's Black Lives Matter mural in Capitol Hill as well. Kind of tell us a little bit more about your past murals. And I mean, what does it feel like to have a mural inside of Climate Pledge Arena now? Hello. <laughs> that, that was huge. That yeah. was huge. I mean, I was super grateful. So Symmetra Financial was the company who reached out to me um, to, to submit a proposal for that project. And and they were truly one of like my favorite organizations to work with because so kind of when you like working with these organizations, you'll submit a proposal and they're like, mm, can you tweak this? Can you tone her down a bit? Can you like pretty much change your style as an artist, you know, but um, the proposal that I submitted, they were 100 percent in alignment with my vision and gave me so much creative freedom. And to have a piece in this historic location honoring honoring Seattle Kraken and honoring the planet mm -hmm. and I'm super inspired by Mother Earth I'm like a tree hugger through and through yeah. so I felt like <laughs> yes so it just it feels surreal honestly to have a piece in that in that location so uh, I have a three-year-old and I know that there are mm -hmm. parents who are watching who want to foster that love of arts in their kids especially because we don't see it as much as we used to in the school system mm -hmm. What is it that you think our young children can can use as support when it comes to fostering art? That is an awesome question because I feel like I would not be sitting here today without my mom. I mean, well, one, obviously, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. But also just from her like continuous support of my work, from one, just like buying me supplies and also t taking my work seriously. She never was, she never like diminished my creativity mm. of anything she fosters, she encourages, she shared it. You know, there's there's something that, first of all, kids see more than you think they see, right. you know? And so when you see your mom sharing your work or like texting it to a friend or family members coming over and then she's like, hey guys, look, look, look. That feels oh. so affirming for me. And so those were moments that I still remember that even gave me courage at a young age to continue to share because my mom validated before the entire world did Beautiful. you know mm -hmm. so I think just so just like encouraging that being like yes you are valid you are worthy to be seen 
I think that that's something like a parent can definitely do. I love that. And when you search your name on YouTube, you find her TED Talk, which you should ah, definitely go on. Yes. You did this at, at UW. Yeah. What kind of message do, do you want to tell people about your TED Talk? And oh kind my of God, that was like, it's still crazy because I'm the person who watched TED Talks. I love just, they're just so inspiring and so encouraging. And so when I was uh, notified that I was nominated to do a TED Talk, I was like, wait, who, where, <laughs> what? Like, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, so that was truly amazing. But it was really my journey from becoming a nurse um, to becoming an artist and really having the courage to do that and really acknowledging that like we're all creators and you know sometimes we have this identity people say like oh I'm not an artist like oh you know like this she, she's an artist I, I'm not an artist and so really knowing that we we are what we say we are mm. and you get to decide and so for me it was like I embodied the identity that I'm a creator and that I'm an artist and so first I had to walk in that and then the world followed suit and then next thing you know I was doing a TED talk talking mm. about you are a creator and you need to um, well, not need to, but people can really foster their creativity through courage. Words Beautiful. are powerful. Yes, thank Aramis. you so much. Yes, thanks for coming in. Oh my God, thank you yes. all for having me. This yeah. is incredible. You're amazing. And if you want to check out her work around town um, and in the upcoming Mohai exhibit, we've got info up for that on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio13live.